What's up everyone? I'm Old England and welcome to a new FAQ video. The frequently asked questions that gets frequently asked every single day. Kinda. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing glasses, it's because I'm I'm uh, I'm sick. I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I have, my eyes are kind of red. So yeah, I have a cold. That's why I look like a dork today, but that's fine. It's okay. And uh, before I start, I just wanted to say that uh, in the latest FAQ video, I uh, asked you, like always, to ask the questions in the comments. And I skimmed through the questions today. And I must say, there's a lot of good questions today. So let's just start. Do you fap with your... Okay, next question. Did I saw a dime bag rig behind you? Yes, you did saw a dime bag rig behind me. And uh, the plan was that I would make a video of a dime bag rig. I basically got a hold of, of an old... Oh shit, it's plugged in. I got a hold of a bunch of dime bag gear. This is the PQ4 Furman. And I got a MXR six band graphic equalizer. And I got the RG100HT uh, amplifier, which is what Dimebag used for uh, Cowboys from Hell and uh, the Great Sun and Trend Kill album. The reason why it's been standing there is because the amplifier was broken and I, uh, and I uh, turned it into a tech who fixed it. Then I got it back. I actually already recorded the Dimebag video, but the amplifier broke again in the video. So. I have to turn it back to the tech again. So yeah, maybe uh, I just upload a video where it broke because it's kind of funny. But yeah, you did see Dimebag gear, so that's correct. Why are you such a sex symbol? I, you know, I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's, it's a gift. I mean, look at my face. Look at it. Look at my face. <laughs> In one of your previous FAQs, you mentioned that you played Witcher 3 on your gaming rig. Here's the most important question in the universe. Triss or Jennifer? That's a great question. And uh, on my first playthrough, I did both. Because why not? Everyone was just saying, don't do both. It will backfire in the end of the game. But I did both. And then I just smooched Triss. And nothing happened. So people were lying to me. You can do both in that game and get away with it. It's fine, you know? I'm not even sure why I'm answering this question. But it's a good one. <laughs> Hi Ola, would you quantize every note in all of your recordings? Like you're asking it like it's the most obvious thing to do, but no, I do not quantize anything on my recordings. Because when you quantize stuff and everything gets exact and perfect, that's when you start sounding like everyone else. So if you want to sound like yourself, I think it's very important to let notes groove. I don't believe in quantizing notes. The indifference between notes is what makes music living, in my opinion. So no, I recommend you not to do it. Just practice a little bit more, okay? It doesn't take that much time. Favorite machine... Favorite machine helm... Favorite machine... <laughs> Why can't I say machine? Okay, there it is. Favorite machine out. Al <laughs> favorite machine head album. God damn it. My favorite machine head album is definitely Burn My Eyes. This was the first time... Uh, I heard a band and it was back in the 90s and I was totally blown away and I mean the songs are just <laughs> killer and it's just a really all-around good album and then after that it kind of like uh, Morphing Chains was kind of cool and Burning Red I'm like ah oh, fuck he's starting to wear you know latex and it was it was getting weird but uh, yeah then the blackening I like the blackening a lot and I've yet to listen a lot more to the new album. I really like the production on the new album though. But uh, I need to get into the songs a little bit more. Have you played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch? And what do you think about it? I have, now when I was on tour in Spain, I really gave it a chance. Uh, and uh, I'm getting into it, it's nice. I'm on my third uh, Divine Beast right now. And you know, I'm, it, it's good. I mean, I, the problem is that I'm uh, I'm uh, damaged by Witcher, which is basically like the ultimate role-playing game and or open-world role-playing game. I mean, when you play Witcher 3, you cannot go back play Fallout. It's or like Skyrim. I mean, Witcher 3 is the perfect game. The developers for Witcher 3 just slaps everyone else on the fingers with their game. So it was kind of hard getting into Zelda, but I'm getting into it now. It's good. 
and uh, it's enjoyable for sure and I like that I can, you know, play it on the road Hola hola, what is the meaning of existence? You know, I can make a, a funny joke or a funny thing about this question but I'm going to give you my, my honest opinion about this uh, Meaning of existence, it's, it's a question that's too big for me I mean, it's not, it's not something I go think about uh, What I think is important is that you do a lot for yourself and you do what you think will make you happier in the end of the day I think it was way more important before that uh, um, like a couple of years back that you know I overwork you know work is fun and you know I'm just getting results and results now it's like a, it's obviously because I'm older but you know taking a kind of a step back and just watching everything observing and just chill have a good time I think that's what uh, you know, just being a good father to my kids, you know, being a good husband that's uh, what's important for me right now and uh, of course having a lot of fun being out on tour and you know, just trying to do the stuff that I enjoy, basically if there's a thing that I don't like, like for say, mixing and uh, reamping and uh, stuff like that uh, I did that for bands before but uh, it didn't make me happy so I stopped mixing other bands I think the formula for having a good and uh, meaningful life is just to remove as many of the bad blocks as possible uh, bad people, get away uh, bad types of, of working you know, throw it out of the way, throw it out of the window you know, just try to take out all the negativity or like negative people for instance, out of your life and uh, just uh, round up all the positive people uh, did I answer the questions? Yes, I did answer the question. It was a good answer, okay? Swallow it. Ola, what bass guitar have you been using? Okay, so I've been using this. I think I made a video of this, or maybe I didn't. We'll just see. I don't remember. That's, that's what's so awesome with being a YouTuber is that you don't remember what you do because you just have a, so many videos going. So what I'm using is this Warwick Spectre bass right now. And uh, I think it's fun. I have to search uh, my desk for a guitar pick, but I find them on the floor. Okay, so. It's not in tune, but that's fine. I really like the sound of this bass. It's fun gnarly sounding and uh, why I bought it was because Jonas in uh, The Haunted and at the Gates he uses uh, one of these and it, his sound is just gnarly so I bought one of these and I got the instant Jonas sound so uh, yeah that's the bass I'm using <coughs> hey Ola I'm trying to decide if I should buy a solar guitar how does the neck profile feel? it's anything if it's anything like an Ibanez I like it but I'm really picky about my C-shaped necks Okay, so obviously a lot of people, a lot of you people know that I'm a fan of Ibanez and Wizard Necks and you know it's, it's hard to just say like oh it's, it's a thin, thick, fucking, you know, cock shaped neck you have to try it out I think it resembles a Wizard Neck but it's just a little bit more round shaped or C shaped in that sense so I think Ibanez is just a tad, tad thinner than the Solar Next but it's, you know I'd rather have something, you know, that fills out the palm of my hand than, uh, because when I have the Super Thin Next you know, it makes my hand cramp you know, it's not a thick neck but it's not a Super Thin Neck either so it's, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to explain but it's like, it's just so hard to explain on a video you should just, just buy one, okay? then I don't have to explain do you ever find yourself wasting time on video games that should be focused on your music? If so, what have you done to avoid wasting that time? You know what? I do waste a lot of time on video games because it's one of the things that I really enjoy doing and sometimes that is a waste of good time that I could spend on writing music but I see it like video games is what I enjoy so it inspires me in a way so I think it's very important to just do whatever you think you enjoy I mean at some points I'm like oh I really want to play this video game but at some points I'm like oh shit I really want to write this song so I just go with the flow you know hey well have you ever had ego issues by being a public figure 
How have you dealt with it? And do you feel that when you play video games, your musical ability is kind of like that? Mm, that's something, something, mm, that mojo. Okay, so that the last question was kind of like the, 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 the previous one. But ego, ego issues, I'm not the kind of guy that lets fame influence me or affect me. At least I hope so, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, you know, it's weird because for me, I'm just seeing myself, I'm just a regular dude like you, you know. I'm not someone special in that sense. Yeah, I'm just a metalhead. That's how I kind of see it. So, uh, no, I don't really see myself having an ego problem in the future. I, we, we'll just have to see in a video in two years when nothing has happened on my YouTube channel. I'm still at the same level, maybe even declining a little bit. And we'll see, maybe I'm a bastard, who knows, we'll see. You signed my ass in Mexico a couple years ago. Remember me? Yeah, I do remember you. What's your opinion on Wild Audio? So, Wild Audio is the birth child of Zach Wild, who left Gibson to form his own brand, Wild Audio. And, uh, what is there to say? I mean, I definitely think he made the, the right choice. Uh, he's uh, basically doing... Or, okay, he was before me, I should say. I'm basically doing what he is doing. So, uh, yeah, I think it's definitely the right way to go. And I think that the future will be more niche like this where uh, you know small brands popping up and you know it's it just makes a lot of sense some of his uh, body shapes are a bit uh, crazy on, and wild and that's fine if it goes uh, yeah if, if he likes that that's fine lord england i have a question why it's the <laughs> sorry okay again lord england i have a question why is Okay, Lord England, I have a question. Why is the A1.6 artist no more available? <laughs> what the f***? Okay, why, why, is, why is the A1.6 artist no more available? Shit, I have to work this. Okay, why is the A1.6 artist not available anymore? <laughs> why it's not available anymore is because it's sold out. That's just how it is. We've limited that artist to 50 pieces and we have I think eight more pieces coming in May and uh, we are going to put a pre-order on that but they're gonna sell out like really quick so I mean in this case you snooze you lose that's it it's a limited edition no more of those okay hola hola you have a weird face shape do you agree Pablo Dupre okay I'm gonna google you Pablo Dupre, if that's your real name. Pablo Dupre, Facebook, okay. Let me see your face shape. This is you. Okay, so you have the nerve to talk about my face? What's this? Is that your face? That's a f***ing giraffe. That's your face. Got him. I mean, what's wrong with your face? Nothing, you have a perfect face. But your hair looks like shit, man. Cut your f***ing hair, okay? And what are, what are you doing in the jungle? Doesn't make any sense. It, uh, you, you're wearing a leather jacket in the jungle. How do you explain that? Pablo Dupre? You have a weird face shape. F*** you, man. Have you ever built a guitar yourself? I really enjoy your videos. Keep it up. Thank you so much, buddy. And uh, no, I've never built a guitar from scratch. I have, though, experimented, you know, and uh, put together uh, pieces of guitars. And I have worked with guitar finishes as well. I see if I can find a couple of finishes, but back in the day I was really interested in, you know, finishing guitars or refinishing guitars. And it was just a lot of fun. I actually did swirls and some satin finishes and I'll see if I can find some pictures and uh, uh, I'll uh, post them here. There? Okay. Hi Ola, can you give us any details regarding future Lefty Malls? I can, but I won't because that just spoils the surprise now. Iola, considering that you are now a professional touring musician. Shit. Really? The Haunter, uh, the Haunter, earlier six feet under. Do you still sometimes experience little stage fright just before walking on stage? Stage fright that might cause some little f***-ups here and there. The f***-ups are not because of stage frights, it's because I suck. <laughs> you know, I don't get nervous at all anymore. I mean, I've been playing a lot of shows, so it's... I, like, even from the start, I was not really that nervous when playing. So, I mean, it's like, the more you play, the easier it gets. It's just as simple as that. 
Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for these awesome questions. If you have any new ones, post them in this video, in the latest FAQ video, to be sure that I actually see them and I'll feature them in the next video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll... I'll